Hello! My name is Gisela from the channel Inglés para tu vida and today we are going to work with some exercises about the present simple. The present simple is a tense that we have been practicing in the last three videos and now I want to show you uh, some verbs that change their basic forms when they are in present simple. Okay? For example, verbs that end in Y, when a verb ends in Y, it changed to IES. For example, if it is cry, it changed into cries. If it is try, it changed into tries. If it is fly, it changed into flies. But why, you may say? Because they have the consonant sound. The consonant sound is here FL, TR, CR, and Finally, end. End. The letter N is the consonant sound. There is a consonant sound before the letter Y. By the way, the letter Y is also a consonant in English. Other kind of verbs that end in Y but don't change into IES but they add, you add only final S are, for example, stay. In the case of he, she, and it, we have stays. Say, we have says, final s. Pay, we have pays, final s. And you may say, why, Gisela, if they end in y, the same as here. But here we have a vowel sound. Before the letter y, that is a consonant, we have a vowel sound. Vowel sound, vowel sound, vowel sound. So when we have vowel sounds, we only add S. When we have consonant sound, we add ES, IES, IES. Now, there are other kind of verbs, the verbs that end in CH, SH and X when they finish. For example, watch, uh, he, she or it watches, smash, he, she or it smashes, catch, he or she or it catches, fix, he, she or it fixes. And other kinds of verbs, for example, that end in O, like for example, go, he or she or it goes, do, he, she or it does. So, when your verb ends in the letter O, you have to add ES, ES. Alright? This is the part of grammar. But now I need you to focus here. We have a chart, right, with three people. They are Anne, Rick, and we. Because I wanted to represent she, he, and we. And over here you have verbs. Learn English, speak French, live in London. Also you have affirmative, negative, and interrogative negative, interrogative, affirmative. And what I want to do is I want to show you an exercise that you can use in all the tenses. And let's see. For example, in the case of Anne, Anne, you have here London, London, London. We have here this part. It's a question. So the question, when we talk about Anne, that is a third person, in other words, she, you say, does Anne, work in London, right? Because it's interrogative. The second one is Rick in London. You have Rick in London, affirmative. Rick lives, don't forget, because it's he. Rick lives in London. We live in London. We have negative. We don't live in London, because it's negative. Now, what happened with an English? And it says an English, but we have affirmative. An learns English. Learns English. Rick learned English. But have a look, it's negative. Rick doesn't learn English. We English, we English, when it is we, you, and they, we say 
do do we learn English and French and French or speak French negative what is the negative doesn't and doesn't speak French and finally Rick French Rick French so does Rick speak French now I want to mention that this chart is very useful for any other kind of exercise that you would like to do you can do you can use this chart and it can help you in many many other tenses all right i hope that you like this video so thank you very much for your attention my name is gisela from the channel ingles para tu vida and i want to invite you to subscribe to your channel from your account in gmail see you in our next class to keep on learning english have a beautiful day bye